Let's begin with what could be an ugly scene when the Olympic torch is carried around San Francisco today. NBC's Peter Alexander is there. Peter, what are they expecting? Matt, good morning to you. The anticipation this morning is mounting, and so for that matter is the tension ahead of today's relay that was really intended as a celebration, but instead has been marred by controversy. The pro-Tibet crowd swelled late Tuesday, with thousands of demonstrators rallying in downtown San Francisco. Protesters are using the torch's only North American stop to shine a light on China's crackdown in Tibet. Among the high-profile speakers condemning China's human rights record, actor Richard Gere. This torch is going through China, through the world, co-opting the idea of harmony to push a political position, which is the abuse of not only the Chinese themselves, obviously, but the Tibetan people. In advance of this afternoon's relay, the Olympic flame's location remains a heavily guarded secret. The torch has become a target during recent stops in London and Paris, prompting San Francisco officials to ramp up security. The goal is to make the event a safe event for everybody. The six-mile route, city leaders say, could change even as the run is underway. The International Olympic Committee, scheduled to meet later this week in Beijing, says it has no plans to cancel the worldwide relay. This would be a really devastating blow to the Olympic movement, and it would send a very powerful and very negative message to the hundreds of millions of Chinese who anxiously await the opening of the Beijing Olympics. And at least one runner has already dropped out, a 14-year-old, over security concerns. There are 79 other runners, and even at this hour, they don't know exactly where, when, and for how long their leg of the route will last, showing you how today is still in flux. Matt? Yeah, they're taking extraordinary measures. Peter Alexander in San Francisco this morning. Peter, thanks very much. It's